What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Cricket Shed. Yes, the cricket is back. <laughs> uh, this episode is about this DeWalt 20 volt XR brushless impact gun. Now, this is like their mid torque, their middle of the road, middle sized, middle amount of power, half inch anvil impact gun. Um, as you rem everybody remembers the, the great torque war of 2016. When, like, every company was trying to outdo everybody with torque numbers, and everybody was like, uh, 900, 1,000, 1,200, and they were these giant impact guns, and then everybody, once the, the top end settled down, everybody started to produce these smaller, more compact, less torque, um, more practical, honestly, impact guns, and this one here is rated at 330 foot-pounds, which, you know isn't the most on the market, but it's also not the biggest on the market. This thing only weighs five pounds. It's, uh, if you know some of the thousand foot-pound torquers, um, they're huge. They're huge and they're heavy, and they will break anything on the end, other end of them, but um, you don't always need that. In fact, most of the time, you don't need that. There's only really crazy situations where you need, like, five, six, seven hundred foot-pounds of torque. Almost anything uh, you're going to run into like even 200, 250 on your average car is going to be a lot. And that's something that was like corroded or bent or something. Something's messed up. And uh, whereas the 1,000 foot-pound models, you know, are going to be overkill and they're going to be a lot bigger. And uh, this is their more compact, more practical size. So like I said, this has got the half-inch anvil with the pin detent. And you can see it's like tapered. It's pointy like that, you know, like one of Madonna's bras, almost, and, um, I, I, my other model of, uh, impact gun, one of the thousand foot pounders, um, has a hog ring, and I really, I always thought that, uh, the hog ring was for easy changes, and the pin detent was for something, you know, if you were going to have a socket on there all day, like if you were building a bridge or something, or a built, you know, a steel building, but, um, surprisingly, this is, this goes even when you line it up with the hole, it goes on and off relatively easy without being too loose and if you don't line it up with the hole just one of the detents inside the socket um oh yeah that's it <laughs> you line it up with the hole and it sticks on there good and you line it up not with the hole on this particular socket and it'll come off pretty easily uh i thought you actually had to i was you know i thought maybe you'd have to use a tool to actually get that off if it's lined up with the hole but this uh this particular impact you don't need to do that it comes uh let's see one-handed that's fresh you know and it's barely seen any use and i can pull it off with one hand so i kind of like the pin detent on this one um if you remember what say let's go 10 years ago if you wanted a an electric impact because air was the only way to go um you were getting a corded one and it was three times bigger than this and it would maybe have 180 maybe 225 foot pounds of torque and that you were you were pretty bad if you had one of those. Um, now in a cordless and a third the size, you have 330 foot pounds of torque. Oh, excuse me. Um, this has three modes. It's got high, which if you've watched this channel before, that's probably what it stays in all the time. And it has a low setting, which I have used low on impacts like this. And then it has a smart setting, where if you're impacting. Um, as soon as it'll spin up to speed, but as soon as it starts impacting, it'll dial it back so you don't over... If you're zipping things down, but you don't want to over-tighten them, that's the good setting to use. Here are the settings down in there. You can see it, see it because of the light. There we go. High, low, and then that middle one is the smart setting. And then if you're going in reverse, um, it'll impact, you know, full blast, and then as soon as it realizes that the nut is loose, it'll dial it back so you're not spinning the nut off real fast so it's got a kind of a smart setting um that could be good for some people me personally I, I like to just put it in high and then uh that's my finger right there that's all the control that i use there but let me see brushless motor um yeah i got the six amp 60 battery on here right now which has been working really good um i did change a tire on my van with this with this exact 22 millimeter socket right there and uh like nothing it was a three-quarter ton van and uh i happened to have this and my uh my half inch deep sockets and i uh, got a flat tire and no problem it was a thousand times better than using that garbage that they give you with their their tire change kit you know that comes with any vehicle uh <clears throat> yeah this is staying in my van 
just for the sole purpose if I get a flat. Um, not too many other things in the electrical trade I would use this for. I use a 3 ace a lot. But uh, for the half inch, this is just, it's just convenience. You drive around nails on job sites, you get flat tires. Uh, bad weather, rain, you don't want to be stuck out there with the, like I said, the garbage that they give you with, they, they, that comes with the van or the vehicle, truck, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to tuck this away in a non, you know, uh, non, uh, in a little hole somewhere in the back of the van, and it's just going to be the tire changing machine. Um, and I keep my other one down in the toolbox, so I got them, you know, kind of dispersed throughout uh, my tool using uh, places, I guess. I'm kind of rambling now. <laughs> But uh, I, I know I like this. Uh, like I said, this is uh, it's solid. It's damn solid. 330 foot pounds. You're not going to run into too much stuff that's tighter than that. Uh, if you do, you got uh, bigger issues, and then maybe you need one of the thousand foot pounders. But I think if you ask any auto mechanic, and they have three different ranges of impacts, they're probably using this one the most because it's going to handle everything, and it's not so big and bulky that it's not going to fit anywhere. So that's it. That's the. Uh, DeWalt XR 20 volt brushless lithium ion impact gun. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. And thanks for watching.